Hello and welcome back to WePC. Now in this video, we're going to show you how to go live using Discord. Discord is by far one of the biggest online voice over internet protocol applications the internet has to offer. Does anyone even remember Skype anymore? Does, is that still a thing? They're bringing gamers and non-gamers together, providing everything they need to communicate as effectively as possible. And now they even offer a streaming service that allows users to watch each other game and screen share at the touch of a button. In this video, we'll be walking you through some of the features that Go Live offers, including how to set it up and how to watch another stream. So let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into it. It is worth mentioning that only Discord Windows desktop client users will be able to stream via Discord Go Live. If you don't have it, simply go to Discord's website and download the client from there. Once you have the client, this is what you must do. As you probably know, if you want to use Discord for streaming, you must have access to a server. If you haven't, we have a video of that on our channel for you to go and watch. Once you have joined, start by loading up the game you want to stream to your Discord server. Now, for some individuals, the game they want to stream will automatically be recognized by Discord. In this case, simply click the Go Live button that resides just above your connection status. And once you have clicked the Go Live button, you'll see a number of different options that allow you to choose from which channel to stream to, what resolution you want to stream in, and your frame rate output too. Select your chosen input settings, higher is usually better as long as you have the internet speed to cope, and click Go Live. Once you are live, you will see a small preview screen showing you what the other members are seeing. If you want to access the settings tab once more, simply hover over the preview screen and click on the cog that appears. Inside, you will be able to alter the same settings as earlier. If you want to stream higher quality, 1080p and above, you will have to upgrade to Discord Nitro. This is their premium service that costs $9.99 a month and gives you a bunch of extra features. Now, unfortunately for some, Discord doesn't automatically recognize the game they're looking to play or stream. In this case, you'll have to add the game to go live manually. Luckily, the process only requires a couple of clicks and couldn't be simpler. So step one is if your game isn't recognized straight away, start by clicking the settings cog found in the bottom left hand corner of your Discord screen. Once you've clicked it from the settings on the left hand side, find and select game activity. Once inside game activity, you should see a button near the top of the page that reads not seeing your game. Click the add it button and it will show you a list of games you can add. Simply choose the game you want and click OK. As we mentioned in the intro, Discord isn't just for gamers, there is also non-gamers using it to communicate also. So maybe you don't want to live stream but you want to do a presentation and you want to share your screen. You can do that also. So we're going to show you how to. Step one is to start by joining your chosen Discord server. Once connected, underneath your connection status, there should be a button that says share your screen as you can see here. Click the screen button and it will give you a number of different share options. Simply click the one you want to share and press go live. This will allow other people to view your screen and watch exactly what you're doing. Perfect for those business meetings. If an individual decides to go live in your Discord server, you will see a live icon appear next to their name. If you click this live icon, you will be able to then start watching that person's stream. When this stream loads up, it will notify the streamer that you are here. And there you have it guys, our complete rundown on how to stream and screen share using Discord's cool go live feature. With platforms like Twitch, Google Hangouts and Zoom becoming much more popular in current times, it's no surprise to see Discord release a similar feature of its own. Thankfully, this is so simple and Discord have done a really, really good job in creating this. We do hope this video helped you utilize this feature just a little bit better. And if you did, please let us know in the comments section down below. As always, if you found this video helpful, we would love it if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload and we'll see you in the next one.